What a joke. The Fed, Pelosi, the left, and free money. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome aboard. It is Bob's Bottom Line for Sunday, 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 April the 5th. What a day. What a week. Uh, obviously, the Fed just can't stay out. They, they're they now come in six times, okay, plus the massive stimulus package that is out and more to come potentially. Um, of course, Friday was a little bit of a disaster trying to get all these programs in. And of course, my bank didn't even, wasn't even equipped to do it, JP Morgan. Okay. So uh, again, we've got a, a, a major problem in, in technology. Of course, uh, our technology, for some reason, with all the technology experts we have in the world or in the United States, we're, we're still working with technology from about 1950. Amazing that we have the worst set of highways, the worst set of technology uh, when we are the biggest and strongest country. It makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know. Of course, that's because our great, our, our great Congress and, and, and uh, like to spend money on everything but what's important. So uh, we'll see. And of course, you know, the Fed, which is a total joke to begin with, and, and again, way off of their original charter from 1913. Okay, and and doing things that, I don't know, I tell you, the world's largest legalized Ponzi scheme is in full effect. And if you're not careful, if we're not careful, we will become a nation of socialists without Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. Okay, no matter who's in the office. Okay, if we let this continue to happen, okay, and let this free money train come, they are going to destroy the currency. Okay, they are going to destroy everything and we'll have nothing. Okay, and we will be a socialist. There will be just the very elite or in other countries called the oligarchs. Okay, and there'll be the rest. Okay, don't think it can't happen. You're watching the destruction of the currency. And now that they want to go to digital currency, which will hide all the debt and make it all go away. It, it, it's an absolute joke what's going on here. OK, this is the point where it's, it's we know it's a challenge. We know the jobs are a challenge, which we'll get into. We know everything that's going on. But there are times when you just have to let certain companies fail. OK, that is the true evolution of business. OK, if you're not strong enough to make it, you fail. But yet here we are building just a bigger tax bell for future. OK, now again. Those of us at my age will not have to worry about it because it won't happen that fast. But again, by the time your children or grandchildren get there, this will be no different than any other socialized nation in the world. Okay, If somebody doesn't step up now and, and quit the crap that goes on in, in, in the government okay, and with Congress and with the Senate, and again, I don't care which party you are, uh, you know, at, that, at this thing, this has been going on long before all you Trump haters hated Donald Trump, okay? You have allowed it to happen throughout all of these elections and whatever, letting these people, okay, destroy the country because you want that free money, because you want those ridiculous benefits, because you want, you want, you want, and you want to give up nothing for it, okay? That is what we have now facing us, okay, is the destruction of, of, of currency, the destruction of everything, because we are letting, we are, we, are, we are not seeing the big picture. We are continuing to see only the immediate return of some free dough. So this coronavirus is exposing a lot of things that are really bad, okay, which is all of the free money that is, that is given out. The continuation of creating more debt, more debt, more debt, more debt, with no plans on ever repaying it back. Okay. So again, we have a lot of phony valuations because of the crap that's going on. And, and again, if we continue to let it, it will destroy this economy. I don't care. Again, I'm not an economist. I'm not an educated economist. Okay. But it's pretty evident to see 
uh, what's going on, okay? It's pretty evident to watch, although we continue to hear there's no inflation, we keep got to make it, we got to make more and more money just to get through each period. So, hey, I'm totally against it, okay? Uh, I, I think it's, I, I think it's a joke, okay? You want to change something? Give a tax holiday. That, that's what you, you want. That's what you should be doing, okay? Again, the, the Fed, six interventions in two weeks with interest rates, really? Come on. This is, this is, but this is what you're seeing worldwide, okay? That's what you're going to end up having. That's my opinion. Okay, whether or not I'm right or not, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a trained economist, of course. If I was trained like them, we'd all be bust. So, uh, again, only the only the rich will have all the money. Okay, which is why you ever notice that it's only the very wealthy that want all these fancy programs. Okay, so we'll see. Hey, what can I say? In the meantime, um, you know those of you who tried to fight the Fed in your in your trading, you lost, right? Yeah, listen. I can vouch for uh, my the Badger and myself back in, in 08. We tried to fight the Fed, and, and we lost. You can't beat them right now. I mean, they've got too they've got too much phony money. They've got too much monopoly money, allowing them to to to, to do what they do. Okay, so they can outprint me. I I don't have the right to print. If I was printing money, I'd be in jail. Okay, or in bankruptcy court. I don't get the same rights to run the the, the Ponzi scheme. So you fight the Fed, you lose. Okay, it's pretty simple. Okay, and and again, this is what this is what you're up against, which is why you see the bond markets going to Pluto and 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 and, and trading like never before. Okay, I mean, you know, we are we are basically a sugar rush economy. Give us that instant gratification. Okay, which goes back to what we always talk about that we are a society that lives week to week. Okay, paycheck to paycheck. Okay where most people aren't prepared for what's going on right now. And, and we all should have some be somewhat prepared for always an emergency, okay? Any advisor will tell you that you need to have money put away for a rainy day, for a rainy period when things are not going the way they should go. But again, what, what does anybody care? And of course, the jobs number, which everybody's making a big deal about, okay? First of all, it was the jobless claims last week and now this week. We knew it was good. Well, are we are we are we not smart enough to realize that people aren't working? I mean, let's let, let's face it in in real time and in real facts. People aren't working. Nothing is open. I haven't been out of the house in fifteen days, other than to take a walk. Okay, maybe my mom hasn't been out of the house in twenty three days. So they won't even let her out of her apartment where she lives now. So again, are we are we are we thinking that somehow people are magically working at these? At all the service businesses that we run, restaurants, if they're open at all, very skeleton crews. Banks, if they're open at all, very skeleton crews. Drugstores, skeleton. Every, only probably 10 or 15% of the population is working because nothing else is open. So other than the people that work for home, okay, who's going to work? So do we really think that, that, that the numbers were going to be somehow magically better? But of course, the markets knew because... After the number came out Thursday, the markets rallied. Okay, after the markets came out, after the numbers came out Friday morning with the jobs number, the market rallied. But it did end up selling off late, but it did rally, and it also rallied late. So, again, the jobs number is not the thing that's going to affect the market. We know that's part of it, but we were in a recession or the early early stages. What the coronavirus is doing is accelerating the recession. Okay. So I can hopefully we'll get it cured and we'll get out of the recession faster than we would normally get out. But but again, there's no reason to believe that that it was going to change. And, and of course, all the free money in the world isn't going to change it because, again, unfortunately, the money is really not free. It comes with debt. OK. So, you know, now, again, laughable private equity firms want a piece of this free money, too. The guys that make fortunes or lose fortunes, okay, on your money, okay, that have a, a quirky tax break, the way they have to pay their taxes, they want to get some of this free money too. So they don't have employees. They don't, they're not a small business, okay, yet they want to participate in, in getting some of this free money because everybody realizes, especially if it's going to be forgiven, okay, that you're getting free money. So why not take it? Okay, so again, now, 
again, there's a there's there, there's big speculation that there's going to be a big adverse movement in stocks going forward because buybacks are being cut in half. And, and look, at the end of the day, buybacks should be cut back. Okay. Now again, I'm a big believer of the free market, but again, you know, you you have to at some point, you know, draw the line and and and, and see if you're tr- truly seeing a solid economy or something that's more artificial. Okay. And, and again. <clears throat> I believe that that if, if companies want to buy back, let them buy in the free market like everybody else. Okay, again, again, I think that's that that, that that's something that uh, that's something that we need to be you know having more and, and better jobs up. Now, again, we know this right. Nobody's driving, so gas where I am, the gas was a dollar thirty nine. Now we had a big rally in oil last week, but really, when you look at it, I mean, so car sales are getting crushed. Okay, now if you go back to 08, okay. What was one of the first signs that there was a meltdown coming? That's when the, the car dealers or the car makers went to 0% financing and they did it again. And now they're giving loans for seven, eight, nine years. Okay. And, and of course, obviously nobody's driving. So they're not selling cars. I mean, you can't go see a car. There is nowhere to go. So we, we've got obviously a lot of issues and hopefully they'll get Corona under control. But again, if people will not stay home, it's going to be hard to get under control. Okay. We've had a lot of people that really are disobeying the proper protocol. Okay. Which again, th- that's just the prolonging what's going on. And, and again, they will find a vaccine. They will find to stop this eventually. Okay. You've got, listen, you've got the entire world working on it. You've got the smartest people. They'll figure it out. But in the meantime, we need to stop it from spreading so that we can actually reopen the country and get back because even when we reopen, we will not be in, you know, full operational mode. You can bet your ass that that in the sports, which is a big economy itself, okay, with the vendors and everybody, the car parkers, vendors, you know, uh, restaurants there, the restaurants on the way there, um, alcohol, that you're going to see, there's going to be, when they come back, if they come back this year, there'll be no fans. Okay, these will be empty stadiums that the players will be running, and the TV will do fine, and TV revenue will be great. But the, the the guys, the people that really need the money, the vendors won't be able to participate. Okay, and again, remember those people. A lot of those people, that's their whole job, their whole year. Okay, so it's good. Look at even when we come back, back, we're not coming all the way back for probably a couple of years before we get everything under control and get people comfortable going to big stadiums, sitting with 60 or 80,000 people. But in the meantime, that's where we are. We'll see what happens. We're going to do our best. But again, we have got to step up as Americans and, 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 and put an end to some of this crap that's going on because it ain't good. This is Bubba's Bottom Line for Sunday, March the 5th. We're going to stop out here for a break. We'll be back with more of Bubba's Bottom Line. Well, kids, you know, obviously, uh, hopefully you were able to catch my uh, micro mini webinar yesterday. Uh, obviously, nobody's got anywhere to go, I hope. Uh, and it was a great one. And, you know, we talked about everything. We talked about how we know about drawdowns. We tell you that there's going to be drawdowns. We're coming out of one right now or we're, we're in one right now. It looks like we should be coming out again. That there, As I like to say, there ain't no free lunch. But if you didn't see it or you'd like to see it, just email me at bubba at bubbatrading.com. I'll be happy to send it to you. And of course, uh, don't forget about our brokerage partners. I mean, CTG does a great job, okay? Real great service and a great product. They do all of our letter direction stuff. And they've got some great products there as well that, uh, you know, if you're looking for some investing needs, trying to you know, supplement or do things. So at CTG, if you want a link for them, just email me at bubbitbubbitrading.com. And of course, don't forget about Trader for equities. They are truly a free broker, $10 a month flat, uh, you know, no charge, no other charges. Uh, they do a great job. So if you want to get a hold of them, all you do is email me. I'll send you their special link for, for our program. And of course, don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. Let's get back to Bubba's Bottom Line and, of course, yours truly. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, March the March, excuse me, April the 5th. Okay. And of course, um, you know, it's it's it was a Fairly flat week last week. You know, again, 600 points is not much one way or the other. So, again, fairly flat. Uh, I think there's some interesting things going on in in markets. Um, You know, again, liquidity sucks. 
It's something that's very important is that if you're a trader, liquidity is very important and there has not been much. Okay, the speed of the market is very fast, very little liquidity. Okay, in the meantime, okay, we, were, we had like we'll call that an inside week, which means that last week was inside the highs and lows were inside of the week before. So we didn't commit to a direction whether to be back up or to be back down. We kind of set there. So we'll see where we go from here. Now, again, our positions remain the same. We are along the Dow futures. We are along the S&P futures. We are along the Russell futures. We are short the NASDAQ futures. That is where we are. Those are our positions as they sit today. Okay. And they'll be there that way in, at least until Monday night or Tuesday morning. Okay. Because that's when we would reverse out. So again, I don't know. I don't think the markets look all that good. I think there's more bad stuff coming. But again, I follow the algorithm and the portfolios exactly without an opinion, okay? Which I can prove my point with what's next, and that's oil, okay? All week, including last Sunday, I said that oil had probably found a bottom. We were short oil, okay? And of course, we were short oil from you know the mid-50s, so I'm not going to complain. But simply, I knew at some point it was going to find a bottom. And of course, this week it did find a bottom and exploded Thursday, Friday, going from you know, 21, 22, all the way to 29. Okay, so we, we will be reversing oil tonight or tomorrow morning. But we are now going to be long oil. We're short going in. Uh, and it looks like with, the, with the, you know, the, the talks maybe breaking down between Saudi Arabia and Russia and this whole deal out there that, was, that kind of sparked the rally. Now, I think the rally came from obviously too many people were short. But that kind of sparked the rally. Okay. If that falls apart, maybe oil falls back down and gives us at least a better entry. But again, when you're looking at commodities, they find certain levels. It's just hard to believe they can go much lower. They're not like equity companies that have to worry about other things like earnings and secretaries sleeping with the CEO and all that other stuff. This is just straight supply demand model. So we'll see. In the meantime, we are short going in, but we will be long at tonight. Bonds, we continue to remain long. The Fed continues to fiddle around. And of course, bonds, and moves that are just unbelievable, okay? And they just keep going up. I mean, that, that's even more unbelievable. But again, interest rates just keep falling and falling. They have to get one of those buttons, you know, help, I've fallen, I can't get up, okay? Because there is no time soon that looks like is going to be uh, that, that, that interest rates are going to change, although the, the economy can certainly support, well, could have supported higher rates. But right now, obviously, Nobody's borrowing. You can't borrow anyways. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. So, uh, you know, we'll see where we go from here. And, and gold had a, a solid week, you know, a higher. Looks like it wants to press up against those highs. Now we're long gold. It looked pretty ugly, and we were on the cusp of potentially reversing. Well, now we've bounced back quite a bit. Now we're also long platinum and silver, but they both look like rat crap. I mean, they don't look good overall. They look like they want to go lower. And, and you know, again, we're long. I just don't like it. Okay. Pretty simple. Copper is short and it's still short and it's still going down. Okay. Net gas. Now, net gas has been going down as well. And, and interestingly enough, you know, again, you would think that with all people staying home much more, there might be a little bit more demand, but there has not been. So we'll see. You know, we'll stay short the net gas for now. And, and, and I, I think the, 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 the dollar is now had that V-shaped bottom, right? We talked about that last week. It was, they had sold off so hard. So now they rallied it, they rerouted it right back to just over par. So we're still short it, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if it changed soon. But look for the dollar to, in, unless something changes, to now fall back a little bit. You know, the Fed has been trying to weaken the dollar. And I think that's what we're going to see here, okay? The Fed you know, is trying very hard to weaken and they just can't get it down. But they're going to try to do something else, I'm sure, because again, that is a problem on, on creating exports and, and, and things like that. So we'll see where we go from here. The poor act face, man, what a what a tragedy is going on there right now. I mean, again, if you look at the meats, okay, I mean, last week, hogs down, limit that down three days in a row. Fats and feeders, both down limit a couple of days and just got, they're just getting, it's like, we're just getting crushed. Okay, now we've been short those, but again, I think that we're at some kind of level where we need, we're going to see some buying come in. Again, this is very similar to 
the, you know, to the oil market, to any market in commodities. Again, this goes to commodities. Are we going to stop eating? Okay. Is the demand for food going to be over? Yes, I know restaurants are closed, but people still got to eat. They're still going to grocery stores. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. I, I think this has been well overdone. There's been some funny business going on with cash over, over futures. Uh, but hey, look, we're short, but I know there's going to be a pretty solid bounce coming in here. And it, the pattern is just ugly. And it, it'll be interesting tomorrow because hogs will open up with a $6 potential limit tomorrow. So we'll see. I, again, I can't say they won't go down any farther, but again, it's really disgusting. And certainly, had I not been in the algorithm, I'd be looking. I would not be looking for a spot to buy them anyway. Okay, uh, but uh, and, and grains. I mean, wheat looks okay. I mean, they don't look horrible. Well, corn looks pretty bad, but they just keep going down. Okay, it's like nobody cares. There's no demand, and and, and there we go. Okay, now again, in my eyes, that there's value down here somewhere. In my eyes, there should be a pretty big rally. But again, we're long beans, we're long wheat, short corn. Uh, and again, I think that at some point that you're going to want to be long them all. Uh, and that would be, you know, so if I'm a farmer, I'm not selling at these prices. I'm keeping it in my bins. The only way I'm selling here, if I'm a farmer, is if I, if I have to pay for storage, I ain't paying for storage. I would sell and then get long the board. Okay. But if I can store, I'm storing everything. I'm not selling anything here. Okay. Unless I have to. Okay. Because again, to me, it's just, it's silly. Okay. Because these prices are just laughable. Okay. But again, it's been a very challenging week. Okay. It's been a very challenging time overall. And again, obviously there's no ethanol demand. So that's hurting corn. I mean, corn is really, if you take out the ethanol value is back at 1990 prices. So again, it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's messed up. Now, farmers, certainly you should be hedging your fuel costs for the next year. Okay. That you should be doing. Okay. You know, again, there's certain things that you can hedge. Okay. And if you're, you should be hedging feed costs if you're a feeder guy. Okay. So again, there's things you should be doing. Okay. In the meantime, who knows what this week will bring? I mean, again, you know, right now everybody rushes in on these, on these, on this free money thing. But again, I, I say that it's going to be a bigger problem overall. I will still believe we've got a lot more room to go on the downside. Now, again, I, I'm, I'm not predicting anything. I mean, I, you know, my positions, I, I, I gave them to you clearly, but you know, my own opinion is there's a lot more room to go on the downside. All right. And we'll see, you know, as earnings season starts to come in and, and what uh, some of these changes are made. But again, the first thing you remember is the markets lack liquidity right now. So don't try to be an active trader in here. You can only get hurt. Okay. So, you know, again, if you're going to build a position, great. I got no problem with that. But don't try to be active unless you're willing to take a lot of risk. We traded live Friday and did well, but the liquidity is really not there. So be very careful when you're trading. Okay. Investing, it doesn't matter, right? Because you're not getting out right away. So in the meantime, be very careful. Watch the markets, watch the price action, and we'll see what happens in the meantime. This is Bubba's Bottom Line. Todd Bubba Horvitz, we're going to step out of a break, and we'll be right back with my commentary after the break. Well, kids, you know, did a great webinar yesterday, and, and I hope you caught it. If not, you want to see it. That's what's on our, our portfolio models, micro minis. Uh, you can email me at bubba at bubbatrading.com. I'll send you the link. It's free. Okay. And of course, don't forget about our brokerage partners, uh, you know, for, for equities. We use Tradier. Uh, they offer our people uh, a flat, no cost commission, $10 a month flat, no other fees. Uh, certainly, I'd be happy to send you the link for Tradier. And of course, uh, CTG does all of our futures and letter direction trading. And would you know, love to introduce you there because they're, they're really got a great customer service department, really watch out for you. And they've got some great products as well. So if you want their information, just email me at bubba at bubbatrading.com. And in the meantime, don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. Let's get back to my commentary. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. And of course, every week I get to sign. I sign up all the time, right? But I get to sign up something special at the end here. And this is my commentary, of course. And, you know, again, I tell you, it is, I don't care if you're a Pelosi fan or not. If you, if you are, you should go see a doctor uh, because here's the party that is continually trying to make a, uh, to take this into a political issue, the coronavirus, not trying to chip in and help, not trying to get this, the thing solved, but yet creating 
more problems, okay, and making everyone political with their left media staff that continues to pound on what, what, whatever president, if he cured it tomorrow, they'd find a reason that he did something wrong. It, it is amazing, okay, to watch the, the disdain and how the media has become unbelievably only left, okay? Now, behind, besides the fact that now we have Shifty Shift back in place and he wants to, and they're going to do an investigation right before the election, okay? It, it is amazing. And, 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 and God, how anybody, even if you're a lefty, okay, how you cannot be disgusted by this action that they're taking when the country is in a shambles right now, the, the coronavirus is worldwide, it's a pandemic, okay, and yet the left is worried about putting together more trials, trying to impeach somebody backdoor because they couldn't impeach him the first time. I mean, Basically, the Congress has done nothing for three and a half years, okay? So uh, how we cannot be totally in awe and shock that we would allow these people, okay, to run our government that have done nothing, nothing for the whole time they've been in office but steal our money, okay, and get paid. Uh, again, it's, it's, a, it's criminal, and, now they, and they're, now they're trying to put up the empty chair in Joe Biden who couldn't find himself out of out of his own apartment, probably? Okay, I mean, this guy's as bad as it gets. But of course, he he will join the Romney family with three attempts at running for president and three failures. In the meantime, this is Bob's bottom line, Todd Bob Horowitz. And again, everybody, stay healthy. Okay, look, trade if you want. It's great. There's some action. Don't be afraid. Remember, you got to take a little bit more exposure if you're going to trade actively. Look for stuff you want to buy. I mean, look, this will all be cured eventually. If you find something good, go for it. But in the meantime, be healthy. Take care of your family. Take care of your friends. Be good. And we'll see you tomorrow with Bubba's Bottom Line. But, of course, those who only catch Bubba's Daily Update. But those who only catch Bubba's Line, we'll see you next Sunday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy. I appreciate you all. See you tomorrow for Bubba's Daily Update.